Professor Lawrence Ayoita, speaking on the electoral processes of the country, said adequate participation and representation of the masses in the electoral system must be encouraged. He advised the electorate to be conscious of the political timetable. Prof Professor Ayoita advised the Independent National Electoral Commission to evolve a transparent measure that will be devoid of the usual confusion and mix up of voters' register and multiple registration. If the uh, nominate, nomination process goes through an open system as I've described, then I would think that that would be fair enough as far as that it's people, it's the votes of the party members who, which would be counted towards each candidate. So I've indicated in my statement, the whole idea is transparency. In other words, in every polling station, the results are engraved, are written, either on the wall or somewhere where it's easily, it's open to everybody, it's open to the press, it's open to individuals, to voters, it's open to monitors who can view it. And that source, in other words, in every single uh, polling station, the result in that polling station is what is used to compile at every level. In other words, the uh, results at the polling station are retained and maintained until the final voice of the people has been announced. So yeah. that's the single advice is transparency and the reliance on the primary result, which is right on the wall, all day, if necessary. I think a few hours would be enough. Yeah, so away from this, um, yes. let us look at you are uh, a major player, or you are once a major player in Nigerian politics. Away from elections, already the problem is with internal democracy. In Nigeria, we find a situation where candidates are forced on the people. For instance, you, you, you want to look at the presidential candidate already there is a, uh, an uproar. They not came out with what they call a consensus candidate. But section of the North is saying the, that this man is not their own decision. He's not the, best, the person they want. But already PDP are saying, I think Uwaka is the consensus candidate of the North. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I'm already there's no internal democracy. Talk less of election now. When he foist this people on people, the people have no choice. So the electoral, uh, electoral rules are written differently than, than it's operating in, let's say, the United States, for example. In some other democracies, anyone who the the, uh, the electoral commission is responsible for for uh, uh, registration, party registration, you go to the electoral office to register, not at the party office. And then, at, when it's time, the electoral uh, commission, electoral uh, officials who conduct that primary, mm -hmm. so the transparent process then can carry through. Mm -hmm. And with this system of transparency. You know, it's difficult to thwart the voters' will, magazines and newspapers and so on. So the problem really goes back to the people, the people's voice has not been truly reflected in elections. In other words, if you have no, no power to change things, change a government in the democratic way, try some other framework or try some other uh, uh, parties or some other candidates with a different framework with the status, from the status quo, then it's really difficult to make any progress in these areas and any other areas. So that to me is the fundamental issue. So there is problem everywhere. There is problem in, uh, in power, which it's, 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 uh, it's interesting that we should have any problem in power. I mean, one of the major producers of oil, they, we should have no problems with power by this time, after 50 years of independence, but as you see, we do. So eventually it comes down to, okay, here is a party campaigning on the basis of everybody will have power by this date and there is no fulfillment, you can either evaluate how far that progress has gone, how sincere it has been implemented, or you can try a different party or a different, uh, a different uh, organization.
It's the same thing with education, with all of the things you mentioned, agriculture and so on and so forth. So you are saying, no, we have not made any progress. Yes. Oh, I didn't say we haven't made. Of course, we make progress day by day. <laughs> but I'm saying that in order to become a truly great democratic republic, we we should have shown more progress. We have shown a lot of progress. I mean, we have the unity of the country has survived through a lot of crises upon crises, and that's a lot of progress to start with. The stability of the country is a lot of progress. But in those other areas of, uh, of development, of uh, commerce, of the standard of living, the standard of existence of the masses, I don't think we have progressed as much as we could. And the, and the, the problem has been an inability to change leadership when needed, okay. when that change is needed. That is why I choose to address just that issue of the transparency of elections and the way it is compiled has to be based on the results which we are still looking at. Since the election was completed, the voting was completed maybe at 8 o'clock, we're still looking at the results until we see that it's been compiled at the uh, state headquarters, at the local government headquarters, the correct results are there. And with all these devices, each monitor can put into, into play a lot of uh, collecting and verification devices. And this should remain open. In other words, people, people shouldn't be driven away that, oh, election is over, go home, oh, no, no picture taking here. We can't, we can't, it, can't, it cannot be transparent if, you, if the agents of transparency are being barred. Thank you very much.